Hi there, it's Andy down in the fruit tree area of Oxley Nursery and it's here we're often asked lots of questions about citrus pests and diseases. So we thought we'd make you a short video just to explain some of the basics. So the first thing you need to look out for is leaf miner. And how this will look on your plant is there'll be a little silvery trail along the leaf and this will ultimately distort the foliage and slow down the growth of your tree. What you need to do is to remove it, bag it and bin it. Probably the most common way to treat leaf miner is to use a horticultural oil like your white oil or your neem oil or sometimes even both together. And what you need to do of course is just to spray the entire foliage of the plant including under the leaves. So the horticultural oils are really quite a safe way to treat leaf miner but if spraying's not your thing, two to three months of protection out of one of these leaf miner traps emits a pheromone that attracts the male and therefore stops the breeding cycle and you'll actually see them starting to appear on the inside of the trap. Okay, so the next thing you need to look out for is the citrus gall wasp and how that will appear on your tree is a real bulbous uh, swelling around the branch and what this does is it impedes the flow of nutrients to your tree. So this one's an easy fix, you simply need to physically cut off the branch with the offending bulge and please make sure you don't put that in your compost heap because that'll continue the life cycle of the wasp. Make sure you bag that and bin it as well. Now if you're seeing lots of ants around your tree, these aren't really the problem, they're indicating that you have a problem with either scale, mealybug or aphids. So what these ants are doing is they're farming the scale. The scale secretes a nice sweet nectar, which of course is good for the ants, but the scale itself also sucks the life force out of your tree. You might also see a black sooty mould around the foliage which can quite discolour the plant. So this black sooty mould is there because it grows on the secretion from the aphids and can get quite unsightly, ultimately impede the photosynthesis of your tree and of course less yield for you. Now if you're growing your citrus tree in a pot, another reason you might find ants there is because you've got uneven moisture levels in that root ball. Simple way to treat this is to really give that root ball a drench but if the soil is hydrophobic, meaning that it repels water, you might need to use a wetting agent. Okay, so generally a plant that's healthy is less susceptible to pests and disease. So what that means is adequate food and consistent moisture. Now if you've got a real infestation, you might need to consider a chemical approach, but please talk to us before you do that. I hope you found that helpful. Drop down to Oxley Nursery, we have a passionate and dedicated team that are only too happy to help and we're open seven days a week. See you soon.